got things spun around here. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and change out the hydraulic fluid on it. Um, just over three hours at this point and uh, it still has that original soy based vegetable oil type of hydraulic fluid in it. So we're going to go ahead and get that changed out today, drain it, check the tank, make sure there's no welding debris, metal debris, that sort of thing. And then we'll go ahead and get it refilled uh, with some better quality stuff. Good old five gallon Homer bucket right here. It is your best friend when it comes to changing fluids on these Chinese excavators. I can speak specifically to the QNT30. Uh, it's just the right height to get under um, to be able to change the fluid. I know it worked perfectly for changing the engine oil. Uh, as far as the hydraulic fluid goes, just the same. This one is a just a, a standard plug in there and it is a hex plug. It is a six millimeter hex. Let me go ahead and get you in there. That way you can see it. I was starting to crank on this thing, trying to get it to break free and it's in there pretty good. Uh, as far as that six millimeter hex, it really felt like it was going to start stripping, whether it would be the hex or the actual plug here. So went to plan B, went ahead and got a set of vice grips, tapped on it with the hammer, and that was more than enough to go ahead and break it free. So now at this point, I feel comfortable um, getting after it with the wrench and it should come out pretty easy. The more I look at this, we'll see if it's clean. <laughs> It's a little bit tight as far as this being recessed up under the machine, so it's going to get a little bit messy. All right, now that I broke it free with the vice grips, uh, it's a lot easier to go ahead and remove it now. I can almost do it by hand at this point. Uh, they put RTV sealant on there, and I think that's the main reason it was a little bit tough to break it free. So it was doing its job, but that's also giving a little bit of resistance here as I break it free. So we'll go ahead and get this plug pulled. Plug is nice and clean. I don't know if it's magnetic or not. I'll double check that here in a little bit, but uh, if it is magnetic, that's a, a good sign. There is no metal in the system, but we'll double check that once all the fluid's out of there. Then I can go ahead and open the tank from the inside, take a look down in there. And if there is, I'll just go ahead and use a telescoping magnet and get it all out of there. But overall, it looks pretty clean. It's getting close to the two and a half gallon mark, it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the cab and uh, loosen the cap, allow it to drain a little bit easier, but for now it's coming out pretty quickly. All right, slowing down, looks like we're gonna be just shy of that four gallon mark. So when I pour it back inside, I'll just go ahead and use a standard household kind of mixing jug. That way I can pour it in a gallon at a time, make it a little bit easier to get the correct mount back in there. We're down to about a drip at this point, so I'm gonna pull the bucket out and put the plug back in. I did double check on the plug to see if it is magnetic and it is not. So I definitely have to get into that hydraulic system. We'll pull the screen out and take a look at it. Just make sure there's no metal shavings in there. Uh, as I did mention, there was RTV sealant on it. It didn't seem to be on the threads. It just seemed like it was around the base here. Uh, there was a little bit of a rubberized, I would call it kind of a, a flat O-ring in there. I don't know how much I'd count on it. Obviously they didn't count on it. That's why they put the RTV sealant. So went ahead and grabbed a O-ring that I have in the shop here. It is a half inch in diameter, nine sixteenth, or sorry, one eighth of an inch uh, as far as the thickness of the O-ring. So hopefully that'll do the trick with no RTV sealant. Let me go ahead and pull this bucket out and then we'll get this threaded back in. All right, now that I have her all snugged up, I'm gonna make sure I get it nice and dry, wipe all the excess oil off, then we'll head inside, take a look in the screen, make sure there's no metal shavings. All right, now that I got the plug put back in, I went ahead and spun around the cardboard. That way I can identify pretty quickly if I do end up with a leak. I'm pretty sure the O-ring should hold up with no issues, but just in case, it's a good visual indicator for me. Uh, here's take a look at the hydraulic fluid. That's pretty milky looking, so I'm glad I'm getting this done early on. We'll go inside and take a look at the screen. Just a little sneak peek ahead, I went ahead and ordered a cab AC unit. Uh, it's all in Chinese, so this will be an interesting install, but watch out for a later, later video uh, where we'll, we'll be putting it on the back here. It does have, I guess you'd call them nut plates. Uh, there's four of them here, so all I have to do is build in a crossbar setup. And I can go ahead and get the condenser and fan on the back and then we'll go ahead and plumb it in and get the actual blower in here as well. So as we jump into the cab here, just on the other side is the hydraulic tank. Uh, there it is with the cap off and there are four three millimeter uh, hex bolts. I'll go ahead and get those removed so we can take a look inside the tank.
before I pull it out, we'll go ahead and take a look in there. As you can see, it already has a screen built in, uh, but really all that does is it takes care of the fluid. If there's any debris in it as you pour it in. So don't tell my wife, but this jug, probably the best way to get it in there. Let me take you around real quick. The way they may design this one, there is a little door over here to be able to put the hydraulic fluid in. It makes it a little bit tricky. It's not direct access. As you can see, there's the door here, and then I have a funnel right behind it down there. So it's a little bit offset. You come to the door, it's over here. So unless you have a flex funnel, it's going to be a messy job. So like I said, probably the quickest way that I see to be able to do this is just go ahead and do it a gallon at a time. I just had to raid the kitchen to get a good jug for it. So we'll go ahead and open it up here. I just went down to my local Atwoods, got Cam 2 Pro Max, went with AW46. Now we'll jump out and go outside. I want to double check that piece of cardboard that we put down earlier. Make sure there's no leaks. Now we have four gallons in there. That should be plenty. So there's some old oil back there, but what I'm looking at is this spot here. looks like we're good. So the O-ring is holding up. We'll go ahead and we'll start it up, let it cycle through. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if y'all have tried these, the tubbo towels. Those things are amazing. They're big. They work great. I keep them here at the house. I keep them in my truck. They do great for cleaning tools, degreasing your hands. Uh, no water needed, but let's fire this off. All right, that wraps up this video. Went ahead and finished topping off the fluid. Let it run for a little bit. Cycled the hydraulic fluid through the system. Uh, went ahead and operated all of the functions as far as the boom and the tracks, just to double check that there is no issues with it. Uh, after it ran and cycled a little bit, it went ahead and pulled down the fluid level just a little bit, so we're right where we need to be. In this little bag here, I have pilotspringmod.com. Uh, that's gonna be the next project that I have on this. I went ahead and started pulling it together just to see what it was gonna look like, but uh, check it out for their, one of my future videos. We'll go ahead and get those installed. These are the Gen 2s. Uh, looked like they're more of a copper type spring, a little more resistance, so it, it should help. I don't know if you noticed in the video when I was cycling the oil through that it gets a little bit jerky. Nothing too crazy, not like the smaller machines are. Uh, but nonetheless, something worth improving. If y'all have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for checking in. See y'all later.